This After Effects tutorial will show you how to normalize a 3D camera track. Normalizing a 3D camera track allows you to set an origin, X, Y axes, and then make sure all the size of your imported footage is coming in at the same scale and at the same location relative to the origin. Once you've made a 3D camera track in After Effects, look through your footage and decide where you want your origin and ground plane to be. Generally, you want it to be somewhere where it's easy to use and your footage will be coming in. Sometimes you may not want to do that on the first frame. Here I'm scrubbing forward just a little bit and I'm going to look here in the middle of this intersection and hover around until you find something that looks like it's really there in the scene. I think this is a pretty good spot right there. Once you have it selected, right click, set ground plane and origin. Then go ahead and in the same spot, right click and create a solid in camera. This will put a solid in a camera that is oriented towards it. But notice that our solid is not twisted or rotated the same way as the street. Click the solid. Before doing anything else, press enter to rename it ground. Then rotate the solid in the Z axis. If you need to scale it a bit to see what is going on, press S and scale it evenly in all directions. As you can see now, it's pretty close to looking at the same angle and perspective as the street. Everything isn't square in the real world, so pick what you think is the most important features of your scene. I'm using this line on the street. Next, we need to go back and add some more solids to our scene. So anything you want to track or add information to, we should put a solid so we have a nice place and location in the scene for tracking. Click on your movie clip, then click on the 3D camera tracker effect to bring back all your track points. Perhaps I want something along this building. I can right click, create solid, and I can scrub through the footage to see where else I may want to have anything tracked. I'm going to put something in the grass right here on the other side of the street. Right click, create solid. And I'm going to put something on the building over here on the right, and I'll create a solid there. How do we normalize a 3D camera track in After Effects? Select all the solids and the camera that you want to normalize, parent them to the ground layer. We want to change the ground layer's position. So press P. It comes in as a default as 0, 0, 0. We want to make the ground layer's position be the center of our comp size. That way, when we bring in new footage, it's going to be right on the origin since After Effects defaults its origin to the middle of the comp. This is also helpful even if you have assets that you would rather have the anchor point be at the bottom because you can simply change the anchor point of those assets. This happens to be 4K footage, so to get into the middle, we'll type 1920 for half of 4K by 1080. If you had full HD footage, just divide each of these numbers by two. The next thing to do is to change the orientation of the ground plane so it is correct for our scene. To do that, twirl out the transform controls, and you'll notice the orientation is 270, 0, and then 348. Yours is likely different, but we want the second number to be 0 also. So now we have everything oriented right and with the right origin. The last step to normalize a 3D camera track is to scale everything so it's our comp size. Add a new solid to your composition, right click, new solid. It doesn't matter what color this is, it just needs to be the size of your composition. Press OK. Once this is in your composition, turn it into a 3D layer. You'll notice that now it snaps right to where our camera track is. This is actually pretty good size, so we're just gonna scale it up a little bit. What we want to do is scale this comp to the comp size so it looks the same. But we don't actually scale the pink comp, we scale the ground plane. So select your ground plane, press S, and then move the scale markers until it is equivalent to the size of the composition. Once that's done, you can delete that solid. Then we'll select everything and remove the parent. Now that the composition is normalized, if I bring in an explosion footage, and on the explosion footage, since the explosion starts from the ground, I twirl it out, twirl out transform, change its anchor point from the center to the bottom, 1080, since this is HD footage. Then if I select 3D layer, 
it will snap directly to our world origin. So it's very easy to orientate where things go. So if I look here, now we can see that explosion is stuck to our world origin and it can be moved around very easily. So if I want this explosion to be in the world somewhere else, I can move it and it's going to already be right there. So everything moves around in 3D space in a much more predictable way once we've done this and everything comes into our composition in a predictable way. There's a plugin that makes this entire process one click linked in the description, but this shows you the concept behind using the plugin to normalize a 3D camera track in After Effects.